Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God himself, signifying unto us the mystical union that is betwixt Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee and is commended in holy writ to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be enterprised nor taken in hand unadvisedly, lightly, or wantonly, but reverently, discreetly, soberly, and in the fear of God, duly considering the causes for which matrimony was ordained. First, it was ordained for the increase of mankind, according to the will of God, and that children might be brought up in the fear and nurture of the Lord and to the praise of his holy name. Secondly, it was ordained in order that the natural instincts and affections implanted by God should be hallowed and directed aright, that those who are called of God to this holy estate should continue therein in pureness of living. Thirdly, it was ordained for the mutual society help and comfort that the one ought to have of the other, both in prosperity and adversity, into which holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. Therefore, if any man can show any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak or else hereafter forever hold his peace. I require and charge you both as ye will answer at the dreadful day of judgment when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any impediment why ye may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, ye do now confess it. For be ye well assured that so many as are coupled together otherwise than God's word doth allow, are not joined together by God, neither is their matrimony lawful. William Arthur Philip Louis, wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife, to live together according to God's law in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honour and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye both shall live. I will. Catherine Elizabeth, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband, to live together according to God's law in the holiest state of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honour and keep him, in sickness and in health? And forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live. I will. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I, William Arthur Philip Louis. I, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I give thee my troth. And thereto I give thee my troth. I, Catherine Elizabeth. I, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. 
not that, that's too proud. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I give thee my truth. And thereto I give thee my truth. Bless, O Lord, this ring, and grant that he who gives it and she who shall wear it may remain faithful to each other and abide in thy peace and favour and live together in love until their lives end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. With my body I thee honour. With my body I thee honour. And all my worldly goods with thee I share. And all my worldly goods with thee I share. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon these thy servants, this man and this woman whom we bless in thy name, that living faithfully together, they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant betwixt them made, whereof this ring given and received as a token and pledge, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to thy laws, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as William and Catherine have, cons have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have given and pledged their troth either to other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving of a ring and by joining of hands, I pronounce that they be man and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully with his favour look upon you, and so fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace, that ye may so live together in this life, that in the world to come ye may have life everlasting. Amen. Charles Wesley's prayer for a life of Christian love and purity to the tune Blind Web is the second hymn. 